Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech Bulletin Prime. I am Rajnikant and today's video we will see what is Git, GitHub and how you can install Git in your local and you can push your coding things to GitHub repository. So here two things are there, one is Git, another is GitHub. So first of all you need to create a Git account for this one, then you need to download that Git and you need to install in your local system. So what is Git? Git is a version control software, right? So as the name itself indicates, it's a version control. So whenever you are developing some application or code, it will maintain all the versions. So whenever you want to go back uh, to some version, you can go back by using this uh, Git version control system. And here a lot of uh, branching facilities is there. Suppose you want to release some uh, new features or something, then you can create uh, different branches and uh, it will maintain those stuffs. So coming into GitHub, so it's a web-based Git version control repository and uh, it will store your all your uh, all your coding things in, in, in this repository and you can connect to GitHub through Git. So Let's see uh, how we can accomplish these things. So first you need to create a Git account. So you can see here that Git uh, homepage is there. So if you have already account, that's pretty good. Otherwise you can sign up here. So username is a unique uh, username you can put. Then email address, whatever the email address you want to. Then password you need to set. So in this process, you will create this uh, Git account. So after completing uh, this Git account, you need to download your Git, Git software, right? So I will show you from where uh, where you need to download and how to uh, install that Git in your local system. So let's start.
so after creating that account after login you can see this kind of dashboard here i have some three four projects are there but you can see empty dashboard like this one dashboard will be there right so one part we have covered so let's see how we can create a sample project and we can post to this git repo so let's go to that my desktop so here i am creating one folder git demo let's create a sample sample file some java file so this folder is mean whatever you, you suppose your project folder i mean git demo is i have created one folder so in case of you maybe already you have one project so maybe that folder it's indicate that folder so let me quickly write some program class some sample class i am writing here class git demo let's write some main method inside that one public static void main parameter string array args let me write it we will not run this program but at least let me write, write some system dot out dot print ln sample git example okay let me save this file as is some java file so let's go to this folder so you can see that git demo java file is there dot java file is there right so so if you want to post these things to github repository then first you need to initialize this uh, this folder or your project suppose you have one folder where all your project uh, files are there right so to that project to that folder you need to initialize as a git repository right once you initialize as a git repository then you can perform either post or commit whatever the operations are there you need you can you can do those things so let's initialize this one so write cmd here and git init Let's hit enter so you can see initialized empty git repository in c colon users rajan desktop git demo plus dot git so so in this location dot git one folder will be created dot git folder so let's see in this folder yes dot git folder is there so it's a hidden folder if you want to see just go to view and click here hidden items already i have clicked here hidden items that's why here that folder is showing dot git if you are not able to see means just just click in the view and click hidden items so it here you can see this dot git folder so let's enter into this folder so here lot of things are there hooks info objects reference dot dot config sorry config description and head all the things are there so you you no need to worry about these things because we are never going to touch this uh, uh, folder so let it be like this okay good so let's open this command prompt so for first time user because you are using this first time so you have not initialized or you have not configured this git to link your github account right so you need to configure something so there there are two commands are there you need to run those things so already okay right so these are two commands are there right so 
so they these are two commands are there you need to write these two commands so this configuration you need to do git config hyphen hyphen global username space your username and git config hyphen hyphen global space user dot email and whatever the email you have created the git account you need to place it here it's not in my email id so suppose t e c s d u l l e t i n at gmail dot com right so these two commands you need to run first copy this one then go to this command prompt and put this one and hit enter once this uh, this command run then you can run this one control c so already i have configured this thing so i am not running these things you need first time user you need to run these things right so these two commands you need to run so you no need to worry in description uh, of this video i'll provide all these commands so that uh, you can utilize these commands so after executing these two commands you can commit your files you can add your files to git you can commit your files okay so so on this com these two things are it's you have configured these things in global global means i mean next time onwards you no need to give this uh, set up this username and email id it's a global means whenever you will create any project these two things will act so this uh, these two things will take as a username and uh, email address so you no need to uh, at every project you need no need to initialize it, uh, i mean configure these things so if you want to project level you can run these two commands so but we are not going to use multiple git account so only one git account so it is better uh, you can configure these things in global level so after setting up these things Uh, let's go to this folder so only one file is there right so one simple command is there you need to put git add dot sorry dot git space add space dot this meaning is whatever is there in this current folder add those things into staging area so staging area means before pushing into your local sorry before change those things into your local repository right git dot, sorry git add dot means it will add everything to your staging area so before that one let me try another command git s t a t u s so just see one command is there git startup so it will give all the details like on which branch you are and no commits yet and whatever the files whatever untracked files are there means it's not yet tracked through git right so it just see here it's showing in uh, red uh, red right so let me add this one git add dot means every file it will add to the staging area let's hit enter so the command run successfully now again check git s t a t u s so just see on branch master no commit set and you can see this one in green right means this one is under staging area staging area means before committing it will be there in the staging area right so it will be in red so while com while you will commit those files which are under staging area those only will commit to your local repository so here two pages will be there first in your project you need to initialize git repository then 
you need to add whatever the files you want to push into your remote repository first then you need to add those things into staging area right by git add so after adding those things in the staging area you will get uh, you will see like in green uh, in green uh, what is it? in green color that what are the files need to be committed then you need to write git c o m m i t space hyphen m then here within double colon you can write your message right initial commit so this means is you are committing this file to your git repository sorry local local repository local git repository and this is the message whatever the things you have changed so let's put this commit let's see one file changed and some message right so if you type now git status here nothing will be there right because already we have committed so first your file will be untracked then by adding git add your file will be tracked i mean it will be in staging area then you need to commit right so we have committed our files so you can check with git log so all the commits here it will show commit this is the hash number commit id you can say this is commit id or some hash value author so author means whatever the username you have set here it will show that uh, author username and this is the email id in git configuration we have set right these things here it will show and here that it will show that commit message whatever that commit message you have given right so here we have set up our local git repository right so now let's see how we can push this local repository to remote repository so let's move to here our github account so just create one remote repository git basic example git b a s i c basic example okay so this is the repository name then you no need to do anything just create a repository yeah we have created this repository now just see here create a new repository on the command line so what are the com what are the commands git init git add git commit already we have performed this three commands right so only we need to perform these two sorry two commands so let's perform this first one so here git remote add origin and this is that repository url this meaning is in the local repository we are adding this i mean we are referring this remote repository so in this local repository which remote remote repository it will connect so we are adding this remote repository so let's copy this one so let me run this command sorry not copy it sent let's copy let's run it here it's not copying okay no problem let's copy the entire thing let's paste it here then let's copy from here okay let me try if it's not able to copy git remote add origin why it's not able to copy i don't know okay let's uh, type this entire one 
get remote add origin get remote add origin space then https colon double slash https colon double slash github.com github.com slash a uh, slash tech bulletin prime slash tech p u l e t i n b r i m e slash get basic example dot git git b a s i c basic e x a m p l e dot git right so let's hit enter yep it's added you can verify like this git remote so here it will show your that remote repository so uh, origin is the alias name alias name means instead of this long url it will uh, point to this origin so let's execute this one git push hyphen u origin master git push hyphen u origin space master so so in the previous command this git remote add origin uh, that url so we are, here we are referring this local repository should be connected to this remote repository right and in this command git push hyphen u origin master we are saying push this local changes or local repository to your origin means this uh, remote repository remote repository master branch right so let's push this one okay so it's pushing yep done so you can see branch master set up to track remote branch master from origin right so here we have pushed our local repository to github remote repository so let's check let me refresh this one yep you can see that git demo right in git basic example you got this git demo just see here class demo public static void main those things are there right so your project got pushed into your remote repository right so i i could say uh, yeah, you people have shared your examples through uh, google drive so instead of that one you can utilize this github repository and you can share this sorry you can share this url to whoever want to uh, check your projects or files right so you, you can share your uh, git repository urls so that everybody can access instead of sharing uh, in those uh, google drive uh, google drive uh, folders or files so you can share your github repository like this rep uh, this url you can share across your uh, teams or friends who can want to access your folder or access your project right so lot of others uh, other options are there Uh, we cannot cover in a single video so hope this is the basic thing how to install git in your local and how to interact uh, how to interact with uh, github remote repository uh, from your git right so hope this video at least uh, you will get the idea and you can utilize these things thank you